A group in St. Petersburg is planning a red tide rally that's coming up tomorrow, demanding accountability from our elected officials. In your side's Olivia Steen takes a look at what changes these protesters want to see. Well, Suncoast Surf Rider Foundation is hosting this rally. They want a lot more cleanup right here on the waterways, but most importantly, they want policy change so devastation like this won't happen again. Let's get together. Let's 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 be a collective voice and let's rally for those that don't have a voice and make some demands to our governor right now for how we can stop this. Thomas Patterick, chair of the Suncoast Surf Rider Foundation, tells me it was cries from the community that prompted this rally. It affects our tourism, it affects our way of life. I'm a half mile from the water right now and I wake up and, and I'm choking and that's not okay. He's inviting everyone to join them Saturday morning to walk the St. Petersburg Pier and see the devastation caused by red tide. He's hoping the group can discuss how to solve the issue, but ultimately, Patrick says leaders on the state level need to step up. Short term, uh, we need to declare a state of emergency in our local waterways. We need funding, we need more manpower, we need people to clean up all the dead rotting fish on our beaches just for quality of life. Uh, Midterm, we need a fertilizer ban statewide. Fertilizer has nutrients that feeds these algal blooms. Red tide is naturally occurring, but the size of it is not naturally occurring, and that's because of human consequences. And then long term, there needs to be a ban on phosphate mining altogether. Again, this rally will start tomorrow at 10 o'clock, and everyone is meeting at the base of the St. Pete Pier. And there will also be local leaders there joining in on the discussion. In St. Petersburg, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.